So I thought I'd give you a quick demonstration of the prediction tool that's available in Word Online. And Word Online is available through Glow, uh, Office 365, and it's uh, it might be a, a suitable tool for some learners, maybe not all learners, but for some learners. So to find it, you can find it here in the editor. So uh, before I quickly look at there, I'm just using the Edge browser. Obviously, you could probably use the Chrome browser as well. So I've got the Edge browser here with Word Online up, and I'm going into the editor function. So there's the editor. Again, there's some great tools in there for spelling, uh, checking grammar, all sorts of things. So I recommend you have that for learners as well. But I've got this one here, text production switched on. OK, so it's just a case of just turning it on and let's see what happens. So I've got a sample sentence here, quite difficult. So I'll just try to uh, replicate the sentence that's above. And I'll start off just by typing in sociology. OK, so there's the first prediction that's come in. I want to say understand. And to enter it, what I do is use the tab key. So I'm just going to tab the, press the tab key to put that in. OK, to understand how... So certainly with some of the more difficult words, it works really well. Works. And it's different. It's come in quite nicely. Context and context. So let's carry on with that sentence. And just by pressing the first S now, it's working in context. It's really working really well. Let's go to theories. Theories include. Uh, so let's try some of these more difficult words. Marxism. Not f so much Freudian, but feminism I'm looking for. Feminism. Uh, functionalism. There's a difficult one. I need to just go a bit and it's recognised functionalism and constructivism. That's quite a, and it's seen that as well. Um, although there are many others. So, um, yeah, it might be quite useful. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some word um, text to speech and I'm going to use uh, an extension for the, for the um, uh, Edge browser. I'll just show you where it is. So it's this one here from, from Claro. And uh, it's a, a really good extension that you can get from the Chrome um, um, Chrome store. So let's go into my settings. I'm just going to go into my settings up here. And I'm going to go down to extensions. So settings and extensions. And I'm going to turn it on. So here it is here. It's a free one. It doesn't cost anything. So I'm just going to turn that on. And I'm going to go back to my document and I'll just need to refresh it by pressing F5. So I'm going to press F5 or you can press the refresh button up here or Control and R. So let's do Control and R, Control and R to refresh. Or F5 to refresh the page. And it will come back in quite small, but equally I can just make that larger. So let's just go to others. And you see it's just kicked in there. The text to speech, let's get up to 170. So let's type in that sentence again. Um, Sociology attempts to understand. Let's press the tab key. Nothing happens until I press space. Understand how society works in. Different. Okay, let's carry on. And so the first S, it's cuts. It's sociology. Theories. Include. Okay, so you get the general idea. Let's just try um, Marxism. Marxism. Feminism. 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 I've probably spelt it wrong. Femin. Feminism. Functionalism. Functionalism. And. Constructivism. Okay, so there you have a general idea. So it's not uh, perfect, but it's, it's getting better and better. I have to say it has improved over the past few months. 
and it's quite usable now, I think, for uh, specific words. And you can see these are quite unusual words, so I think it coped quite well, particularly with, with longer words.